Hi, I'm Micah and welcome back to my channel, Yoga with Micah. Yoga is so powerful that we can use it to change our mood from day to day. So I've been so fascinated lately with using breath techniques and different movement patterns to totally shift our mood around. So put this next video on anytime you want an instant dose of happiness, a little instant mood uplift. I really hope you enjoy, and if you do, please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified when we release new videos every week. See you on the mat. We'll start practice today lying down on our backs, knees bent, feet flat on the mat. Bring one hand to your low belly and the other to your heart. And then start to draw your breath out longer both the inhales and the exhales. When you take a breath in, imagine you're breathing in joy and positive energy. And then when you exhale, you're releasing anything that's heavy, anything that's weighing you down. So inhale joy, exhale release. Inhale, lightness, positive energy. Exhale, anything not serving you. Make it your intention today to move with joy and express yourself with playfulness. Now take your arms by your side, palms down, and set up for a gentle bridge pose. We're not quite going into it just yet. First, inhale, arms up by your ears, and exhale, let them come back down by your side. Inhale, back up, and exhale, lower down. Inhale, reach up, and exhale, back down by your side. Now press into your feet and lift your hips up gently as your arms come up by your ears. And then exhale, everything comes back down all at once. Inhale, lift the hips, reach the arms up. And exhale, lower everything back down. Try to get your hips and palms to reach the ground at the same time. Inhale up. And exhale, lower. Take your arms up above your head, reaching for opposite elbows, and then let your knees just fall side to side like windshield wipers, releasing your low back, just feeling into your body, gentle movement. Next time they come down, just hold them where they are and feel this gentle twist. And then take it to the other side and pause. and then bring it back into center. Now, we'll bring our knees up towards our chest and move into a playful, happy baby. Reach for the outsides of your feet if that feels good in your body, or maybe the ankles or even behind the knees. And then start to stretch. Just maybe straighten one leg and then the other. Listen to your body and notice what movement feels intuitively right to your body right now. Settle into some stillness and then start to rock side to side, massaging your spine. Release whatever you're holding on to, pull your knees in, and if it feels okay on your back, we'll rock forward and back, using momentum to finally come to a seat. And then come around to your hands and knees. Tabletop position, fingers spread wide, pressing firmly down. If you have blocks handy, use them, but they're not necessary. Take your right leg in front of you for a low lunge. You can see how the blocks create a little space and more openness in the heart. And without them, it closes you off a little bit. You can come up high on your fingertips if you don't have blocks. But otherwise, blocks are always a good idea to play with. 
settle into this low lunge. And then shift your weight back to half splits, nothing extreme, just notice that hamstring stretch and a broad collarbone, open chest. Then shift your weight back forward to your low lunge. Exhale, shift back to half splits. Inhale forward, lunge and stretch. Exhale, back. Inhale, forward, open heart. Exhale, shift back one last time and then settle in to your low lunge. Inhale, arms sweep up by your ears. And then as you hold this back bend, invite the flow of positive energy through your body. Release your arms down and then step back to your hands and knees and let's do the other side, left foot in front this time. Settle into your low lunge. Shoulder blades engaged behind you. Get that length in your spine. And then once you have settled in, shift your weight back and stretch that hamstring. Careful not to round your back here. Shift your weight back forward on the inhale. And then exhale, shift back. Inhale, lunge and open. Exhale, stretch back. Inhale, lunge. Exhale, stretch. And then settle into your low lunge. Inhale, arms sweep up by your ears. Interlace your fingers and hold this heart opener. Notice if you feel a lift of energy. Release your arms down, step back to tabletop and set up for downward facing dog. So walk your hands just up a couple of inches and then press into the mat, lifting your hips up and back, keeping a light bend in the knees to start and bring any other little movements in that feel good to explore your down dog today. On your next inhale, rise up on your toes, bend your knees and travel to your hands. You can walk, you can hop, whatever you're feeling today. And then inhale, come up halfway. Feel the length here in your spine, shoulder blades engaged behind you, and then exhale, release. Inhale, sweep the arms up high and exhale, bring your hands down to your heart. Close your eyes for a moment and just notice how you're feeling. Step your left foot back to warrior one. So flat on the mat, toes to an angle, deep bend in the front knee, and then sweep your arms up and hold your warrior one. We'll flow here, straighten the front leg. As you exhale, lower your body down, flat back, back of your arms high. Inhale, bend the knee and reach back up, opening the heart. Exhale, back to your flat back airplane, shoulders engaged. Inhale, bend the knee and open. And exhale, lower down. Inhale, bend and rise. Exhale, straighten the leg and come back down. And then on your inhale, reach back up, warrior one. Exhale, stay in warrior one, cactus arms. Good, inhale here and then exhale, straighten the front leg, curl your upper body in, forearms together. Inhale, bend again and open the heart. Exhale, straighten the leg and curl in. Inhale, open. Exhale, curl. Inhale, open. Now interlace your fingers behind your back. Extend your chest and lower your torso down on the inside of that front knee. Reaching your fists up for the sky, humble warrior. You can always take your fingertips down to frame your foot if you'd like. 
Release the clasp and swing your arms back up by your ears on your inhale. Hands to your heart and step forward. Now let's do the other side. Right leg back into your warrior one. Back foot flat, turned out at an angle. Front knee bent right over the front ankle. Inhale, arms sweep up. Settle into your warrior one. And we'll flow. Straighten the front leg on your exhale and reach your arms back into airplane arms, back of the palms reaching up, back of your body engaged. Inhale, bend the knee and sweep up. Exhale, straighten the leg back to airplane arms. Inhale, bend the knee and reach. Exhale, straighten the leg, flat back. Inhale, open. And then exhale, cactus arms. Straighten the leg and curl in. And inhale, open back out to cactus. Exhale, curl in. And inhale, open that heart. Exhale, curl in, belly button in. Inhale, chest expansion. Interlace your fingers and open up. Lower your torso down right inside that left leg, reaching the fists up towards the ceiling, pressing your feet firmly down into the mat, not sinking down. Inhale, sweep your arms up, palms together, and step forward on your exhale. Now step one foot out wide. Bring your toes out, heels in, wide stance. And then we'll come to star pose. So reach your arms out, fingertips spread, energy shooting out your fingers, lifted chest. Feel the energy of this pose. And then on your exhale, cactus arms, set your hips down and back into goddess pose. So weight is in your heels here. Your knees are moving out towards your little toe. And you may be wondering what's so happy about this pose, but I promise you'll feel happy after you're out of it. Press into your feet and rise back to star and settle back in. If your knees are okay here, sit an inch deeper. Steady your breath, press into your feet and rise back up to star. Feel that energy. And exhale back down into goddess. Last time, I promise. Press into your feet and rise. You are done with goddess. How great does that feel? Feel your heartbeat here. Notice your energy. Notice if your energy has shifted from the beginning of practice. Bring your hands down to your heart. And let's bring our feet in just a little bit. Open your arms out wide. And then on your exhale, give yourself a tight hug. Inhale, open back out and stretch the shoulders. Exhale, other arm on top. Inhale, open it out like oh, it's going to be a wonderful day. And then exhale, round back in. Inhale, open. Exhale, hug. Inhale, open wide. And exhale, just release down. Nice. I'd like to teach you one of my favorite breath techniques now called breath of joy. We'll take three big inhales that build upon one another and then one big exhale. So the first one, arms cross and then out to your side and then up above your head. And then you breathe out as you come down to airplane arms. It's like you're sitting in chair. So you have control here. You're not completely collapsing because that can hurt our back. You want that control. Cross arms out to the side and then all the way up, finally down with control on a ha. Let's try it. 
Ha! 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 Now bring your hands to your heart and just notice how you feel. Feel your heartbeat. Feel your pulse, feel your energy rushing through your body. Once again, this is breath of joy. And anytime you're feeling low energy or a little stagnant or stuck, this is a great breath technique to try. Now with one hand on your heart and one on your belly, remember how you felt at the beginning of this practice and notice if that has changed, if that has shifted at all. We'll end with a mantra. Repeat after me. I will find joy in my journey today. The light in me sees the light in you. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. I hope that flow put a little smile on your face. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified for new weekly yoga. Namaste.